Holy moly guys, Nukem here, and we have huge breaking news after hours. Tesla finally did it. I was hoping they were gonna announce it as a Q2 earnings, but they finally do it now better uh, late than never, and this is a positive sign in my opinion, even though it doesn't really affect the value of it, but it still gives that sentiment where people can buy in more. What am I talking about? Tesla just announced a five for one stock split and it's going to be taking that end of this month they just released this announcement and i'll go into details for that for you guys i mean i'm working after hours i woke up at 4 a.m to do the neo uh q2 2020 earnings so i'm still exhausted i haven't fully recovered so i appreciate you guys smashing that like button and so and subscribing so i'll go ahead and talk about what this stock splits means a lot of people ask me what does a stock split mean? Does my what happen to my shares if it's a stock split or reverse merger? I'll go into that details for you. Let's go let's go ahead and catch up on the day. So you can see all the EV space was down except workhorse and Tesla is actually up after hours six percent on this news they just released of the stock split, but everything was down today. I mean, Neo beat earnings. I mean, early in the uh, pre-market, they beat earnings and was up, up almost nine percent. And as soon as the market opened, people would start selling off and people are going to be wondering why did people sell out Neo? Well, basically people are taking profits, good earnings. It's time to sell out for their gains and they think the market might crash the future or invest in something else. So if you're a long time bull of Neo, I would not worry about it. I just see this more as a buying opportunity, kind of like how Nikola, uh, it was down to about $30 uh, below $30 and some people bought into it. Nikola came up with good news. Now it's back to $41. Now, do I believe in that good news, Nikola? No, but I'm happy for anyone who saw that buying opportunity. So this is a buying opportunity on the dips in my opinion. So, but the thing is, why was the market down today? There was nothing but good news today. Like Russia, Vladimir Putin just announced he created a vaccine. A world first vaccine came from Russia and that they're going to start distributing it. Now, let me tell you, there's a lot of issues and concern people have with uh, Russia saying they have that vaccine. In early April, they announced that they're going to remove phase three clinical trials for a vaccine. So uh, what phase three is basically when they test the vaccine on mass production. For example, several U.S. companies and companies right now are in phase three, which uh, they test it on 30,000 people. They give them half of them placebo, half of the dose, and different dosage. So once you've passed phase three and you do well, usually phase four is a final approval, and then that becomes a true vaccine in nature. So Russia just probably tested up to like, uh, in phase two, you test around like 50 people. So do you trust a vaccine from Russia that uh, only tested around 50 people and say, hey, we have a cure? Um, I don't know. If I was Russian, I'd be like, Vladimir, you hear Putin made the vaccine? Da, comrade. Just drink more vodka, you'll be fine. Sorry, bad Russian, my wife is laughing in the background right now, but yeah, so that's a whole deal uh, with that. Um, but even on that news, even we had news today that, um, that the US has less uh, cases, but it's still not enough for the market to be positive since there's still a lot of people getting sick. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about Tesla. Uh, we'll go ahead and read the statement they just put out today. Tesla announces a five for one stock split. Okay. The board directors has approved and declared a five for one split of Tesla common stock form of a stock dividend to make the stock ownership more accessible to employees and investors. Each stockholder on the record of August 21st, 2020 will receive a dividend of four additional common share for each uh, held share to distribute after the close on August 28th. Trading will begin on stock split on the basis August 31st, 2020. For looking statement, certain statements without, okay, this is, this is just um, general stuff. So let me go ahead and explain this since a lot of people don't understand it. Uh, when they say dividend, they don't refer to actually they pay you money every quarter or monthly, depending on what type of dividend structure. That's not like a, we're going to give you some earnings. They're talking about dividends in terms of stock. Now, on August 21st, depending on how much uh, Tesla stock you have, they're going to record it into books. On August 28th, that's when you get four additional shares for every one Tesla share you have. And they will start beginning the new shares on August 31st. Now, what a five to one split means basically take the current price of Tesla. So let's see, Tesla is currently trading at, let's just say 1500, right? 
Okay, so let's say te Tesla is trading at 1500 on August 21st. Divide that five times. That's $300. So after August 31st, on August 31st, after the split, all Tesla's share be worth around $300 saying if they, you know, if it was 1500 on the close of August on August 28th. 28th. Uh, basically the stock price value what you own does not change uh, like this money doesn't go down don't think you lost money it just makes it look cheaper because there's more stock available and the reason why a lot of companies see this as good signs example apple's doing a four to one split is because it makes it easier for regular investors to invest in the company uh, i know there's now fractional shares you can buy a piece of company but it looks a lot easier for a brand new investor or an investor in general they're like hey tesla's back at 300 or at 300 dollars i can afford 300 dollars i want own whole stock not a piece of a stock so they'll invest it easier it's easier for um people for com uh for people who want to sell out tesla's like hey I, I need to pay a bill and the reason I need to pay this bill, but I don't want to share a whole share of Tesla. That's 1500. I don't need that extra cash. I can just now share one share around $300. So it gives that, you know, mindset, uh, overall. And it has been, uh, proven, I think clinically and psychologically that when people see a smaller value, they're more likely to invest in that stock. And, you know, Tesla's already trading high. Someone should tell Jeff Bezos to start splitting Amazon stock. I mean, that thing's going to be $4,000 relatively soon. And, People are like, would you invest in Amazon? <laughs> no, I don't have $4,000 to throw. So that's the whole idea. And overall, this is good news. This also might help, um, you know, people sell the shares a little bit. So maybe if they go into S&P 500, uh, it'd be easier for those companies to add those shares to it. Personally, I see this uh, um, as a great opportunity for Tesla. Now, anytime you hear a reverse stock split, that's very bad news. Usually you don't do a reverse stocks, but unless your company is in financial trouble. And the reason why people do a reverse stock split is in order to be on a New York stock exchange, your stock has to be worth at least $1. So these are companies below $1 and they don't want to get delisted from the stock exchange. So they have to do a reverse split. So meaning every 200 shares you have of that company, if they do a 200 to one reverse split is, um, is one stock. So your 200 shares now become one. So that's usually a bad idea. And those 200 shares add those costs together. That's why the stock will push up above uh, above that $1. You recently saw this with Chesapeake Energy. Chesapeake did a reverse stock split. This stock was about 20 cents at one time, 20 cents one time, and they had to do a 200 to one reverse stock split just to boost the price and it's trading already. So overall, that is good news. Uh, with that and Neo, uh, I don't know if you guys saw the Neo earning. They did very good earnings. The like first time they reported profitability, so congrats to you if you own Neo. And you're probably wondering why the stock went down. I mean, you probably be distraught. I mean, nothing but good news. Um, you know, just see it as a buying opportunity. Uh, what's interesting is Nikola. Tr Trevor Milton recently went on CNBC and Fox Business talk about Nikola with their garbage truck now that they're selling 2,500 garbage trucks how they're going to do it I have to give uh, praise to Nikola I know people like to hate on Nikola I like to hate on Nikola uh, for a lot of reasons but I do have to commend them for doing smart moves Trevor Milton really knows how to get people try to invest in Nikola and his vision and his whole idea is uh, seems like the Nikola vision is like try to get contracts with any different thing that you could throw a hydrogen or a battery into it and then outsource it and we just take the profit uh for being you know the referral fee or the licensing fee or whatever but the the way he explained how this is going to work was quite interesting so they're they're um nicola trey uh what they're going to do is uh he says the way current garbage truck is working is that there's like three components to a truck and you have to get all these different manufacturers to put it together in one and usually if something happens they blame each other what he says is nicola's vision is that they're all gonna be delivered at once and put together there in one spot and then ship it out which makes it a lot easier and smoother transition is something that he's looking forward to and it's about gonna be about a one to two billion dollar contract if uh if uh, republic decides to uh, double their deliveries to five thousand instead of two thousand five hundred 
This makes me wonder what else are they going to try to make into hydrogen? Uh, what other space has it not been tackled? You got garbage trucks. You got the... Um, what else we got? We got workhorse with the last mile delivery. We got the long range with the powertrains. We already have all the consumer cars. So it's just a lot of different things. And then um, what's interesting is that Tesla, I felt like he just recently went through PR training course by not seeming like he's crazy anymore because a lot of his tweets and a lot of his uh, interviews lately has been very calm and and seems like he's well uh, well thought out. Like he went through some management training course where he's not making a fool of himself anymore. It's less fun for me to cover because I love it when he makes himself seem crazy. It's entertaining, but now he looks more professional, kind of like Elon Musk when he went through that time where... He was just tweeting crazy. He still tweets crazy now, but not as much as before. Taking company private uh, and stocks too high and things to like that. So it seems like Trevor Milton went into a similar class like Elon Musk. Uh, he recently cleared the the warrants F, um, FEC's filing or the K1 filings. Let me see. I typed in Elon. Trevor Milton. Let me show you. So basically, people were asking, they just issued more stock. Oh, and on, on those um, interviews, he said that he takes, he apologized and take full responsibility for people not understanding about the warrants on the company. So I thought that was a very mature move. And uh, I, I really have to give him credit. He seems like he's starting to um, be in a better leadership role for an executive chairman. Okay. Those who are asking about me buying stock, there's SEC rule to ensure that no trading is done with material non-public information. Also, block blackout days before and after earnings and major announcements. I won't be able to discuss anything until SEC disclosure. You, you can imagine what would have happened if I bought stocks after earnings or before the public announcement of Republic uh, is why I didn't buy. I won't make any more comments on stock until the right time. So it makes sense he didn't decide to buy those extra stocks because it looks like he'll do insider trading. So I understand that. We will file our form S8 tomorrow to register the employee's benefit plans because we are a SPAC. We had to wait 60 days to file it as previously disclosed in the S4. We are not raising money. This is for employee stock options and hiring just so everyone knows. So overall... Seems like he's getting more professional, and that's a good direction. I think Nick uh, Nicholas heading. I still don't believe in the company. It seems like, hey, I decided to make a pizza business. I have over two thousand pre-orders for people wanting my pizza. I just haven't built the oven or got the oven built yet in place for me to make the pizza. But hey, look, I have all this pizza. Uh, people want it. I just can't make it. That's the way Nicola looks like for me right now. So, anyways, guys. I love your beautiful faces. What do you guys think of this Tesla stock split? Are you guys excited? I'm, I'm super excited. I appreciate the likes, and I'll see you guys next time.